What's up guys, my name is Will and welcome back to Solving the Focus Problem. Today we are quickly going to take a look at some super high performing and successful people and what they have said about meditation and learning to focus. Then we will finish off with a quick practice of our own and train your focus. Let's start off with Emma Watson. We all know her as the child star playing Hermione Granger in the Harry Potter films and has then gone on to graduate from a great university, become a UN Women's Goodwill Ambassador and works tirelessly in humanitarian efforts and non-profits for causes such as gender equality, as well as continuing her own highly successful acting career. But before all this success, when she was managing her time between shooting these massive blockbuster films and studying for school, she had a lot going on with no idea what the future holds. Quote from her here, people are like, where are you living? What are you doing? And where are you going to live? And she was like, I don't know. Emma really struggled with the answers and the chaos and opportunities of life until one day Emma admitted, I need to find a way to always feel safe and at home within myself because I can never rely on a physical place. So then she learned meditation and says it's something that anchors her crazy life. Next, on to Oprah, a billionaire who has won multiple Emmy Awards, nominated for Oscars, and even gotten the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Oprah had a tough upbringing with lots of abuse, but later found meditation that she said, helps you resist what I know for sure and have had to learn through much trial and error. The voice that truly matters is the silent voice of awareness, consciousness, and aliveness. Now I think the voice Oprah is referring to here is our inner voice. We all have that inner monologue, chatter in the mind, or some would say that that's our thoughts. And so often we can be led astray by these wandering thoughts, a monkey mind that gets easily distracted away from the things that we really want to focus on. After discovering meditation and learning the many benefits herself, she paid for a meditation course for all 400 of her employees and ran challenges that she describes as helping tap into potential, unlock creativity, release stagnation and improve mental health. Later, after going from success to success, Oprah even went on a tour she named the Your Life in Focus tour. And finally today, Arnie. Arnold Schwarzenegger was a young Austrian lad, couldn't speak a word of English, moved to LA and was running a construction company, was taking acting classes, was training at the highest level of bodybuilding for Mr. Olympia, was shooting documentaries and going to acting auditions, and during this time, with so much going on, Arnie said that he was struggling with anxiety, organizing his thoughts, and managing all these different important things in his life, when someone took him to one side and taught him how to meditate. This allowed him to prioritize his thoughts, and everything he touched from then on turned to gold. He became the highest paid actor of that time, he became the most successful bodybuilder of all time. He then went on to become a huge property mogul and even went on to a successful political career, becoming the governor of California. And Arnie thanks much of his success to his ability to focus the mind. Now you know how important meditation can be and how much it can help others' lives, but what could it do for you? Let's try some and get your practice in today with... Now... Stop what you're doing, just for a couple of minutes. This is important, don't leave. I know it's tempting at this point in the video to click away. You might get bored or you might tell yourself, I don't wanna meditate right now. But this might be the single most important action you will do today. It's for you, your mental health and your future. So sit down, fight the urge to leave and get this done. It's just two minutes, let's begin. Today, I'd like you to close your eyes and just bring your attention to the room you're in. Notice if you can feel the air around you. Or can you notice, are there any sounds going on? And the key word here is just noticing. We're not trying to change anything, just observing what's happening right now. And how often do we just notice the feeling of the room we're in or any senses in our body. Usually we just go from one task to the next all day without ever really stopping and appreciating the peace 
let's just stay here for just a few more seconds just taking in the feeling of being in this room wherever you are now and I understand this might feel strange if you're not quite used to an exercise like this but just go with it once you get past that it can feel quite nice peaceful a few seconds just for you just staying with that last five seconds now good work now I'd like you to do the same thing but bringing your attention to what's going on in your mind and body are there any thoughts or feelings happening right now and again we're not trying to change them or clear the mind we're just observing accepting them and knowing that these will pass soon so staying with that focus on whatever you feel or are thinking right now accepting it and enjoying the peace of this moment And when you notice that the mind's been distracted, just saying that's natural, the mind will wander, and then bringing your attention back to this moment again, just focusing on your mind and body. And also knowing that at the end of a session like this, that at any point, during your day if you get stressed or in a bad situation you can always return to this peaceful time of not reacting and enjoying a moment like right now nice how did that feel let me know down in the comments what was going through your mind and if you like this video then please do hit the like button I release new videos like this every Thursday so if you want more then please do hit the subscribe button as well it really does help out the channel and only takes one sec. So thank you so much. And I'll catch you in the next one.